Yes. Leaky Lou. <laughs> well, hello, welcome back to another Test and Tune. I know there's going to be lots of echo, it's because I'm filming in a toilet. Um, a lot of changes happened with us in the last few months, but I am at a new location, and part of the deal was I was going to fix the toilets, so that's what I'm doing today. Um, yes, not something I'm overly educated in, but this is the second one I've done, so I'm pretty much a professional now. Now, this particular toilet is, I think it got installed in 2013. It is the Porsche or Porsche? I don't know, Porsche brand. Um, from what I can tell, they're pretty cheap toilets. Apparently they were leaking about five or six years ago as well, but they got repaired under warranty when the house was new. This house is coming up eight or nine years old, but they're leaking again. So it's obviously a bit of a common problem. And there's something you can do that doesn't cost any money, which I'm gonna show you in this video. So basically the leak, what you can see trickling down into the toilet there, which costs money. You get billed on that. Um, is from a particular seal that's at the bottom of the system. So to get to it, how am I gonna do it? First thing we're gonna do is get a screwdriver. And here we have said screwdriver. It's just any small flat blade will do. Now there's a little ridge on the inner edge of the main flush button. Before we do that, we wanna get all of the water out of the system. So on this particular house setup, we've got nice taps down here that we will turn off. And I'll put my GoPro back on its mount. We can do the flush. We can do another flush and just try and get as much water out of the system as possible. It's not the end of the world because when you pull this mechanism out that we're going to see in a second, it flushes anyway. So screwdriver in on that little lip and that lifts this button up like that, the big button. Put that down there and then we can pull the little half flush button and from there, you can see down in there there is a, oh is the camera going to pick it up? You gotta trust me, There's a, it's actually a Phillips screw, but I'm gonna undo it with this little flat blade because it works. It's not very tight, but this holding screw holds the top cap into the lid of the system. Not a plumber, whatever it's called. So we should be able to pull that out. Oh no, still joined on, a little bit more unscrewing. That's gotta be it. There we go, so that comes out like that, all nice and Corrode, and then that's all that actually holds the lid of the system on. So you can actually lift that up like that. Now I'll just show you this little mechanism. So this top piece does stay loose and you don't want to lose it. And it's just, we've got the full flush there, the screw in the middle that holds it in, and then the half flush on that side. So big hole, middle hole, small hole. Something to note. Okay, so now this is the actual flush mechanism. We can do it like that and nothing happens. Now the way to get this out, you have to rotate it, this took me about 20 minutes to work out on the other toilet, to there, and then they lift up. So basically that little hole that you've got in the side with the red tab, you wanna join that or line that up with the mark on the bottom piece there, and then those little bits come out. And there we can see our seal. Try and get the light so you guys can actually see it. And I'm pretty much just gonna remove it. Um, so the other one I did, the seal was, hopefully you can see, yeah, the seal was, oh, this one's split. Hmm. The seal was just dirty. So on the other one I did, it didn't cost any money. I just, there we go. Uh, I just basically cleaned the seal and turned it over, but this one's got a split in it. That's no good. But these are like a silicon and they do just pull off. which all men should be familiar with doing. Okay, so we've got that off there. Now I did get a selection of seals from Bunnings earlier. Which one looks the closest? It's a pretty small hole. I'd say the red one's gonna be the closest. So the red one will do the job I reckon, and all the seal does, it goes on this surface here, that surface that's spinning, and then it actually seals on the bottom ridge, this ridge right here. Now something that I would recommend doing is give this a clean with a rag or your finger. This one's actually pretty clean. The, again, the other one had some dirt on it. This sort of dirt here, whatever it is, know, calcium build or somebody, somebody in the comments will know, but just give that surface a clean because obviously you want to have the best chance as you can. Now, Something about these washers, I couldn't find out what brand of mechanism this is. 
in this Porsche toilet. It says UPC. It's got lots of ATS, S2, I don't know. I don't know enough about them. It looks like they just have universal seals anyway. I can't, I know that one's bigger, but this, this seal here that I got is actually a thicker seal. It's also this color as well, but it's got a smaller hole, bigger hole. I'm gonna try it. Let's see how this seal goes on. So this is the seal for the Jebberet systems. And they literally just go in here. Now the one I took off, and the reason I didn't wanna use the smaller seals, the one I took off was really hard to get back on. And again, I'm not sure if whoever did them back in, well, five years ago, whenever it was, used the wrong seals, because it looks like they're a bit universal. Okay. Yeah, okay, that seal's probably not the right one. But, she sits on there all right. There's not gonna be anything to make it move. And it's the thickest. I like the idea of it being the thickest seal. Thicker than these ones, but we've got these as spares if we ever wanna use them. It's hard to say. Trust me, this is the thickest one. Let's see how it sits in the system. So this then just goes straight back in. You've gotta get it lined up. And again, we've got that tab on the side. Put it in twist it round and that locks it in. That's it. We'll put that about where it needs to be. Now if we turn the, the tap back on, we'll let it fill up and we can do a test. Well, not so much a test, but we'll see if it's gonna seal. Not sealing yet, but it may take some water pressure and an actual, actual actuation to seal. Let's see how it goes. Could have cleaned the toilet, I guess. Okay, so as you can see, it's still weeping in, but is it gonna stop? The other one took about 20 seconds to stop after I cleaned the seal. We'll be back shortly. Just when you think you're a professional plumber after the success of the first fix. Um, yeah, the thicker seal wouldn't seal. Now, from what I can tell, there shouldn't be any issues with this part. As long as this is pushing down on the groove inside, but yeah, the, the thicker seal, no good. So let's try a thinner seal, which is closer to the thickness that was in there. It's probably actually a little bit thinner, but we'll just see how it goes. Attempt two. I've just adjusted that little red tab. It was sort of off the clock, now it's on three. And we can line that little red tab up. Okay. And we'll fill it up again. And I think that you do need an actuation of the flush for it to like lock on. So it's done a flush. And is water gonna keep flowing? It looks like it is. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I think, well, we're still running a bit on the left. System filled. Okay, we're still trickling on the right. I think we got it though, guys. Still trickling. The camera can see that quite well. It's gonna stop. Slowing down. Slow, yep. Yeah. Okay, the water's still, there it is, it's still. Oh my God, okay, so I learned something today. When I went to Bunnings, which is like a normal Australian local hardware store, there were plenty of options for, the lights, I'm gonna do anything, plenty of options for seals. So I just bought a selection of different size seals from Bunnings, and I think there's some more somewhere else, um, to replace this one. Although I didn't have this with me at the time, so I was just going, mm, it's about that size. Now, all of these would get a really tight fit on the bottom of the system mechanism. However, not the right one. So I did a bit more research and I found the accurate part number for these 
Porsche installed systems systems is this 18170196 and I'll put a link up to the actual cistern unit as well just in the description but using a proper genuine seal for this unit and it stops so if you're gonna have a go at doing this yourself don't make a mistake I didn't just get any of the the uh, the washers from Bunnings or the seated wash, whatever they call the seals. Make sure you get the correct one. And if it is a Porsche unit that looks like this, it's that part number there. So, two hours instead of 20 minutes. But, something else that I did sort of touch on at the start of this video, uh, if you are just trying to see if you can fix it on the cheap, if you just notice it's leaking, take the original seal off and flip it over. That fixed the downstairs toilet perfectly, but this one was never gonna, this one was never gonna be good with the, uh, the seal like that. But there we go. All right, and now it's just a matter of putting it back together. But this video is long enough. Catch you guys on the next test in tune.